All right, so we're going to talk about the Morse code sender and receiver circuit, but we're going to start with the basics first. Let's talk about the circuit components that we're going to use in there. So the first one is an LED. That's a light emitting diode. So this is how it looks like. So this is an LED. One leg is longer than the other. This is the positive end. This is the negative end. And this is how the circuit symbol is. This is a diode symbol, the positive and negative. With a diode, the idea is actually the current the, or electricity goes only one way. It doesn't go this way. For the LED, we actually apply the voltage and it just brightens, it just emits the light. So this is our LED. You know the LED is like a Christmas lights and holiday lights. That's what it is. So let's talk about the resistor. So resistor is a component in circuits that we use a lot. Um, so there's like a voltage and current. We're going to talk about those uh, more in detail. But basically a resistor, think about that it resists to the current. So it resists the ele electricity. So there are different values. This is how it looks like. You will see like different color bands. You have it in your packet, uh, some resistors with different colors that tells us what the value is. And this is the circuit symbol. It's like a zigzag. It's almost like creating like more resistance uh, to it. Uh, so this is the resistor. So let's talk about the photoresistor. So photoresistor is the other one that is the sensing component that senses the light uh, and it changes its resistor value. The resistor, regular resistor, it has a fixed value. It doesn't change its value. Photoresistor, it changes its resistance value. And that's how we sense the light's uh, intensity. And this is the circuit symbol. See, look, it, look, it looks like a resistor, but you, you put a circle and then the light because light comes and the resistor value changes. So we have this one. How can we use this one? The resistor value changes. Can we read the resistance? Yes, but reading a voltage is much easier in circuits and especially with a microcontroller than reading a resistance. And let's look at that. So this is a circuit. This is actually very small. This is your Morse code receiver. So we apply five volt. There is one photoresistor and there is a resistor. So think about this first. There are two resistors here. And these resistors, and there's a total voltage of five volts. What these resistors do, they actually share this voltage according to how much their resistance are. So uh, depending on the value of this resistance and this resistance, they have some voltage out of this five volt. So we call this actually a voltage divider. So the voltage here is between zero and five volts and that changes based on how much light this gets because it changes its resistance and this value changes. So we have a voltage here. It can be two volts, three volts, five, four volts, somewhere between zero volts and five volts. So we can connect this to the microcontroller to read it, but we cannot connect it to the digital port because digital can only say zero or one. That's why we use this and connect this to the analog port of the microcontroller so we know exactly that what that value is and connect it to the uh, how much light that is. So these were the circuits. So now let's look at the circuit for the Morse code sender and receiver. So if you focus on this area, so this is the circuit for the Morse code sender. One LED, one resistor. We all know that we need to use a resistor because we know what happens if you don't use a resistor. So with a digital port that comes from the microcontroller, we keep sending ones and zeros. So this LED blinks for the Morse code. This is your sender. And the receiver, we make that LED and this uh, photoresistor phasing to each other. So it emits the light, changes this voltage. We read that analog voltage from the microcontroller. And now with the code, we know how much the light is coming and how that uh, frequency is so we can tell what code is coming. Well, now the microcontroller knows what the message is, but we still don't know, microcontroller knows. So for in order for the microcontroller to speak to us, we use a small screen, a display. So this is our display, it's again in your kit, it's like a little like a, a LCD uh, display, a very small one. Uh, so it has four connections. Uh, so you will connect them to the microcontroller. We will tell you exactly which, uh, which uh, ones are. But the idea is you have a ground, you have a five volt just to power the display and then a clock signal to tell how fast that signal is coming and the data, all those ones and zeros and then what, which 
parts of the screen needs to be displayed so we can see the message. So this is all our Morse code sand ground receiver and our LED and the resistor, photoresistor, the voltage divider, which is the same thing as the receiver, sander receiver, and our display. All right, let's get building. <laughs>